Hello, this is Paladin Prepper, and I want to give you an update on my uh, on my garden. That's a honeybee on this blossom, and it's I, I realize it's kind of out of focus here, but uh, this blossom. This is October the sixth, two thousand eleven, and blossoms are still appearing on our raspberry bushes, which we are very grateful of. It was a very hot summer, and it finally cooled down, and we're getting more blossoms now. Uh, I'm going to go in and give you an update on uh, my Back to Eden garden. I still haven't taken delivery of, uh, of uh, mulch from the, from the uh, tree service, but I have been able to, uh, from my own method, be able to get some mulch down. Now what I've done is put newspaper all the way down just to make sure to, keep the, to kill the grass. And I want to show you how I'm doing this. Uh, this is just enough mulch to keep the newspaper down. Obviously, I don't have enough mulch to uh, to uh, to cover it entirely. But as soon as I get the delivery from the tree service fellow, then I'll be able to do that. And I want to show you how I'm doing this. And we're still, but we're still getting beautiful cherry tomatoes, uh, even though we haven't had much rain and, and uh, the the cherry tomatoes. The plants are dying, but nevertheless, they're still they're still producing. Now, I want to take you over here and show you um, what we're getting. Something else that we're still getting before I go over there. Here's some beautiful cayenne peppers I just picked a few minutes ago, and we are, we love those as well. We have a whole string of those in the house, which we're going to dry. Now, what I have here is I have two compost bins, and I have a large compost bin. This is the one that you saw me put together in another video, which now I've, I've used quite a bit out of. And I use my pitchfork here and uh, and turn it up. This this needs to be turned again. Uh, this what's in this in this bin? It's time for me to turn it again because I put uh, uh, scraps in there and rabbit poop and so forth, and it's time for me to turn that. got to turn it uh, often and uh, so it can aerate and so we can get some moisture in there we even found there were some even some particle board that was we extra particle board we had that we could soak and uh, make it come apart and put it in there as well so as you can see we have organic matter both uh, even even some corn husks. Now these are not corn husks from the cornfield uh, near our place. It's uh, fresh corn, corn that was not treated. Anyway, just wanted to show that. Then from the bottom, I take. I take from the bottom of this unit with a shovel full and bring it over and fill my compost tumbler. And what I've discovered is if I will do that and put it in the compost tumbler and come in and tumble it every day, it speeds up the process and I wind up with some good mulch there. So then I can come over with the... Uh... Pepper A, would you come here just a minute? And uh, with this good compost here, can you hold it up? Yes, sir. Then I can come over and get a good shovel full of that. And take it over here and to cover up that paper but in a few days um, I should be able to get that uh, load of free uh, mulch from my tree trimming service that's going to be coming here 
And plus, I've talked to a neighbor, next door neighbor, who has a backyard that's not being used. And I can also put a garden there. This is the fellow that has the uh, has the grapevines. And I made an arrangement with him, and we're going to do the same thing that we did before. Here's our beautiful, our okra. Our okra. I know I've been moving this camera around too much. But I wanted to give you an update to show that I am making progress, albeit slow, but uh, and what we're using here, a variety of things, sale papers and, and that sort of thing. But I'm pleased every time I put down more paper and more mulch because it goes through a process. Because I'll keep emptying this compost tumbler. I keep shoveling it out and shoveling it out until it's completely empty. And then I go over and get some more shovel by shovel full and take it out of there, out of the pyramid composter and put it refill my compost tumbler and come in and turn that for five or six days, tumble that every day when I get home from work and then do what you just saw me do, take shovel full after shovel full and put more paper down. So I'm I'm working on my back to Eden garden and I'm going to keep doing this till I have that completely covered with uh, with mulch. And once I get that done then I'll declare it to be a uh, back to Eden Garden. That's all for now. Huddled and Prepper.